Hello everyone. Today I am going to solve second problem with the help of substitution method. We have seen advantages and disadvantages of substitution method in the previous video also and why we need a substitution method, right? So if you wanted to know a detail about it, kindly visit the previous video first. Okay, so second problem is Tn, there is some problem Tn which is taking time of Tn and it, the problem that can be broken into n plus t n minus 1. So guys here it, according to me okay if you look at this problem there is some loop which is running for n times every time and the function is calling itself again with minus 1 input okay. So let's start with the problem. So initially t n is given to me that is what n plus t n minus 1. So this is the first expression. So back substitution methods guys. So in this case the number of steps that we perform those are always fixed. Okay. So you have to follow that regression. Now I know that there is t n minus 1 in my main expression. So I will calculate its value. I said okay t n minus 1 what it will be? replace n minus 1 in place of n. So it will give you n minus 1 plus t n minus 1 minus 1. So it will become n minus 1 plus t n minus 2. So this is equation number second. Now in this equation I have t n minus 2. So calculate the value of Tn minus 2. Tn minus 2. Again put this value of n minus 2 in your mean expression in place of n only. So instead of n I am writing n minus 2 plus t. In case of n I am writing n minus 2 minus 1. So it will give you n minus 2 plus t n minus 3. So this is my third expression. So in back substitution we go till two inputs. Okay we back substitute we go to till the two inputs and then we start replacing the values. Okay now back substitution will start. Back substitute 2 in 1. Why? Look at the reason. If you look at the mean expression, okay, so your mean expression, what it contain? It contain this value n plus t n minus 1. So instead of n minus 1, t n minus 1, put this expression, this expression in place of t n minus 1. So here, so what it will become your Tn, it will become Tn that should be equal to n. Instead of Tn minus 1, put n minus 1 plus Tn minus 2. So now your Tn become this thing. So this is my fourth expression. Now you already calculated the value of Tn minus 2 also. So instead of Tn minus 2, put to this value. So when I do that, my Tn, it will become Tn equal to n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus Tn minus 3. So that is the next expression. So in this case, I have Tn minus 3. So similarly, if I replace Tn minus 3, it will be n plus n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 plus Tn minus 4 and so on every time which will continue. So I am able to find the relation. I understand that, okay, if I continue till k times, what my Tn will become? Tn will be n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus so on. Now look at the problem, okay, what, what it will write here, you will write here 
n minus k plus t n minus k plus 1. Now why n minus k plus 1? So guys, every time look at the problem, when it was n minus 1, the problem was giving n minus 1 and n minus 2. When it was n minus 2, it is n minus 2 here and n minus 3 here. So by looking at it directly, I do understand that if I am saying this is k, okay, n minus k plus t, this is what, this is 1, this is 2. So I have to make something from k, I said if I plus 1, so it will give you the value of 2. So that is why this equation comes into picture. Another way to do that is just to take t n minus k, like you calculated n minus 1, n minus 2, calculate n minus k also. Put the value of n minus k in place of n. So it will give you n minus k plus t n minus k minus of 1. So this is what I have written here. So now what I need, I know that for n equal to 1, it will give me value 1. So assumption, assume that n minus k plus 1, this is what? This is equal to 1. So this is if I just open up the bracket this will give me n minus k minus 1. n minus k equal to 2 and the value of k it will become n minus 2. Now put this value inside your main expression, your last expression. So your tn, your tn it will become tn is equal to n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus so on plus now place in place of k put n minus 2 so n minus n plus 2 n will be cancelled out similarly if you put the value of k as n minus 2 here what you will get you will get n minus so guys this is t of n minus k plus 1 t of n minus n minus 2 plus 1. So what it will give you? Minus 2 and plus 1. If you calculate this, this will give you minus 1. So open up the bracket. So when you opened up the bracket, what it will give you? It will give you n minus n plus 1. n and n will be cancelled out and this will give you t of 1 whose value is equal to 1. So if you look at this expression now, what is this? This is sum of n the natural numbers. So now look at your tn. What it is, if I write my tn, it is n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus continue till plus 2 plus 1. So what is this? What is this is sum of n natural numbers. And we know that this is n into n plus 1 by 2 sum of n natural numbers. So this will give you n square by 2 plus n by 2. Now in comparison to n square, n is very small value. Take an example. If I say value of n is 1000, n square will be 10 raised to the power 6. So I can say that this value is quite smaller. So I can discard it. Right? And we already know that your complexity, it is always bigger order of n. Okay? So, I am left with n square by 2. Now, in this case, 2 is constant. So, discard 2. So, finally, the time complexity for this expression is what? Big O of n square. Okay? So, this is how you calculate the time complexity using substitution method. We are looking at recursive tree method also in the coming videos. If you like the video, kindly like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Okay, kindly press bell icon to receive notifications. Thank you.